Hello, my little darklings. Carmea Stone here. Today, I'm working on a Rubio C of mine that I've been tuning up for a while now. She may get a redesign one day, but for now, this is what she looks like in the beginning. I had her nice idea in my head when I watched Volume 2 of Ruby, but I surprisingly never tried to design her in any of my sketches, so I decided I want to make the face of the character. So I did. I'm also going to give a bit of backstory for her, so without further ado, this is the backstory of Teruchi in Fischales, the Grim Outcast. After the war with Salem was over, there was peace in the world. The humans at Faunus were enjoying the peace. Then twenty years later, the Grim hybrids and Mimics slowly merged with society. What are the Mimics, you ask? They are Grim that can copy the human form, and even, through practice, can copy human speech as well. They were a race of Grim that was almost wiped out of existence by Salem herself. Why, you ask? Because many of the Mimics who stayed around the humans and learned their ways felt compelled to protect them. So Salem ordered for their genocide. Many were killed in the genocide, but a few managed to survive the attacks and hid deep in human society. Teruchi was taken in by a human huntress named Angelus after being severely injured in a fight with other hunters. Teruchi always disliked humans because she thought they were the cause of her kind's near extinction. Over time, Teruchi started to grow fond of Angelus, but since Teruchi couldn't speak well, she changed into an injured form of Angelus and vowed thank you to her. Angelus just looked and smiled at her. After that day, Angelus helped Teruchi learn how to speak better and taught her about the human and faunus cultures. After two years, Teruchi was able to be more human than Grimm. Angelus decided to give the Grimm the name Teruchi in Fischalis which in Latin translates to the Grim Outcast. But one day, Teruchi woke up and saw that Angelus was gone. There was no note, no message of any kind, nothing. So Teruchi went searching for her. She searched for two whole years before realizing she could not do this without more resources. So she went to Beacon Academy to see if they could help her. She asked Ozpin slash Oliver if they could possibly help her. At first, he was hesitant, but soon agreed to it. But, only if she can keep it a secret about her being a full Grim. She told him she wasn't planning on it, since she didn't want them to fear her, or worse, hunt her down. So she studied everything there was about the hunters and huntresses, including the weapons they used. She never really liked using guns of any kind, since that's what gave her most of her injuries before so she instead used a large saw-like cleaver as a weapon of choice. But of course, she did keep guns in her holster she carried on her, but she never really used them. She soon went into the team trials, and when she fought beside the hunters and huntresses, she felt so at ease fighting with them and not against them. After the trial, she was made the team leader of Team Trust. Before you go to the comments telling me that all the teams are colors, I know this, and if you look it up, the word trust is actually associated with the color blue, so technically it still counts. Anyways, let's continue. And so, Teruchi would learn to work with other humans and faunas alike, grow a strong bond with her team, and take down the Grim that wants to hurt any of them, along with finding out what happened to her dear friend Angelus. So, that's the backstory of Teruchi and Vichadis. Yes, I keep saying that name a lot. I like the name. For her teammates, I still don't have backstories quite yet for them, but I will work on them one day. I'm also currently working on the design for Teruchi's Grim form, so that should be out sometime soon. If you guys haven't already, then please click the subscribe button down below, and if you have any more speed paint ideas or games for me to try in the future, please comment them down below. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed my little darklings, and I will see you next time.